Okay, I hope you can hear me and see me. I'm done here. I didn't want to move the camera. Um, so I'm going to show you some demos. These are some. I showed these to some of my uh, education majors, and they they liked them, and they wanted they wanted to know if they'd be online. And I, I said, okay, I'll put them online. Um, so at this point, they have already looked at basic basic circuits and basic magnet stuff, and I, I want to show them a little bit more just so they can get see how cool stuff is. Um, so. I'm going to start with this compass right here, which you can see. Don't cross this line. Just making sure I know where to go. Sorry. Okay, so here's a compass. Uh, the needle's pointing north, and here's a battery. And I'm just going to um, place that wire just like that. Okay, right there. And then I'm going to connect this to there, and you can see what happens to the needle. It moves. Hopefully you can see that. And so this is the first piece of evidence. If you have a current, it interacts with the compass. They already know the compass is a magnet. So electric currents make magnetic fields. Pretty cool. Okay. And simple to do. Most of these demos are stuff that you can do uh, very simply. So here's that same battery. And here is uh, some magnet wire. Magnet wire is called magnet wire because it's used to make uh, electromagnets. It has this enamel on it, and that's what makes it this color. Um, so that when you wrap it in a coil like that, you don't have uh, the current taking a short path. Instead, it has to do this whole loop thing. Okay. In this case, I have, let's see if you can see this. I have shaved off the enamel on this half of the wire, but not that half, and also on this side. So, so this side has no enamel, this side does. I'm going to put it in my little battery holder. And this can be kind of tricky to do to get it to work. And I have here just a, a, a rare earth magnet. Sometimes you might need to give it a little push. Okay, so this is this, a very simple motor uh, that you can make. But uh, the important thing is to show that a motor, all a motor is, is a wire with current and a magnet. Uh, well, there's one more thing. You have to have some way of switching the current. In this case, uh, when it's like th in this position, there's current through it. It interacts with the magnet and rotates. When it gets to this, the enamel is sitting on that holder and there's no more current going through it. So it, it doesn't, uh, it just keeps on rotating because of its uh, angular momentum until it gets back around and gets another boost. So that's a very simple um, <clears throat> a magnet and a wire making a motor. Okay, this one they like a lot. This is a cup, and I have some magnet wire wrapped around here. And then I have that attached to a, um, an earphone jack, um, an earphone plug. And if you see here, there's three wires in the stereo earphone jack. And I just used uh, the, the main outer wire and one of the other wires to connect to it. Okay, So now I, ha I have that right there. Um, they really like this. So I'm going to take this. You can do this in different ways, but I'm just going to take the magnet and put it right here. You could hold it there. I'm going to take another magnet and stick it in here so that it sticks on there by itself. And then you need something to play um, music. I have my MP3 player here. Let's see if I can find a loud, I want a loud song because you, you can't hear this if it's not loud. I should have had this ready. Okay. My fault. My fault. Okay, so I'm going to plug this in and turn up the volume all the way. Okay, I'm going to hold it up here. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't think you can. Where's this?
Okay, it is playing music. You don't have to believe me. Um, so, in this case, if, if you hold it up to your ear, you can hear it. In this case, um, the MP3 player has current going through the wire, just like in the, in the motor, that interacts with this magnet right here. And, and the interaction between these two essentially makes the magnet push this um, so that it, it pushes to the same frequency the current comes through to make that sound. And that's how the earphone, uh, the microphone works. Let me just try, let me try putting it this way. It's a little bit louder if you just hold it over the magnet, but then I'm sure you can't hear it, but you can feel it too, so. It's an easy thing to play with. Um, again, use the magnet wire. Um, this is the thinner kind so I can wrap it around. Uh, and then you have to shave off the enamel on the ends to get it to connect. I just soldered it because it kept coming undone. Okay. Um, so the cool thing is that a magnet I mean, a wire and a magnet is a motor and a speaker. They both do the same thing. I don't have the, the materials to do this right now to show you. But if you take this and this and plug it into the microphone jack of your computer and then talk into this, you can record. You can use this as a microphone, too. Because the opposite thing happens. When you talk, the... Uh, your sound, the sound from your voice moves this magnet and that moving magnet uh, creates a current in here and the computer records that. Um, so a microphone and a speaker, this kind, are the same thing. Warning, a lot of the newer microphones are actually not a magnet and a wire. So, but it, almost all earphones are, so you can use earphones as microphones. That, that should work. Um, let me just show you this real quick. This is a hand crank generator. You can buy these uh, lots of different uh, vendors sell them. And I lost my other paper clip. Again, not prepared. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm not going to, I'll just tell you what happens. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to plug, I have two of them. And if I turn this one, that one turns. And I can do it the other way around too. So if you look inside of here, you can see there's a little motor looking thing with some gears. And so the, the point here is that just like a microphone and a speaker can be the same thing. A motor and a generator can be the same thing. In fact, I can even take this, take my battery, and this it doesn't always work. Cause it's there it goes. You got to give it a little push. See, now it's running as a motor. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now here's the cool one that I'm going to show you. Oh, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm not going to do it because you can't see it. This is a plain DC motor, and and I took it and I also connected it to um, an earphone plug, and so a motor is a wire and a magnet, and a, and a Speaker is a wire and a magnet. So what happens if I plug this in? Well, if you plug it in, you can, you can feel this moving a little bit. But the better thing is to take take an unused popsicle stick and have a student stick this and bite, their, bite it with their back teeth with this part sticking out. And then if you touch this to the stick and they hold their ears closed, they can hear it. And they always think that's pretty cool, but uh, it's an example of the, the motor working like a, a magnet does. Boy, this video is getting long. I guess I should stop.
I'm not going to be able to make the 10 minute cutoff. Okay, well that, that's enough. <clears throat> Maybe I'll break this into several segments. Um, but I wanted to show the students uh, what these things did. Because um, they, they, want, they want to be able to reproduce them. So now it's online. Uh, so all these things, essentially, even these are pretty cheap. But you don't need that. Everything else you can make do uh, with some simple stuff that you can find. So have fun with that.